Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Grand Ages Room with me, Grey Hunter, where we're going to be doing the mission, um, hmm, we've got a few choices now, I think we'll go with a Legionary's Pay. Yeah, because I, I still don't really want to do this one, Scourge of the Pirates is a bit of a, ugh, I don't like it. We'll have to do it eventually, I think we'll do it next, just to get it out of the way, but uh, we'll first do a Legionary's Pay with Marcus Antonius. So take it away, Mark. There, there's nothing quite so satisfying as the final blow. Your blade bathed in the blood of the enemy, and the screams of their kin as they beg for mercy. Gaul will be at its knees before the end of this year. Awesome. When this war is over, we will have enough spoils of war to retire, but currently we can't even afford to pay the legions. Take what is left of the treasury and go to Cordoba. Do what you can to secure the funds that we need. Don't fail me. I would hate to have my sword stained with your blood. P.S. Send more wine. The swill they make here is barely drinkable. More wine! Um, yeah, so... He's a friendly fella. Don't fail me or I'll kill you. So we have to obtain 15,000 denarii. Not too difficult. Uh, establish five trade routes to do that and have a total production of plus 50 wine to get the markets in Campania. I don't actually know what they do, but those are both fairly easy enough, and 15,000 denarii should be okay. I don't think we have anyone to face off against for this one, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, and we actually get to build our own city. This will be good. I do like these ones where you get sort of a free hand over the building of the city. No research goal at present, that's fine. Let's have a quick overview of the map. Okay, we've got a river, some minerals, outpost is kind of away from anything, that's okay, we can use a slave market, and then we've got some marble, we've got some gold, we do have some barbarians, we will probably have to take them out. So this is pretty much like a free build mission, essentially. Cool. We've even got some trade posts and stuff. That sounds a little loud. Hmm. It might just be me. Let me turn all those down a little bit. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Let us continue. Alright, so... First things first, we need to build a slave market, I guess. Because we'll have to supply our food. How much food have we got? We've got some wheat and some meat already, so that's good. Okay, in that case, we'll begin with some insula. One, two, I think, first off. Damn it. I want to rotate to get this perfect. <laughs> right. There we go. Two insula, which will serve... got this road in place. They will serve the original butcher shop and baker. Put the water out like that. Now, we can expand on that later. So, first things first. Food. Ah, we'll need a water mill as well. Now, well, the water mill can go here. Bakery. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Put the road up to here and then we'll put the road over this way. Astarte, get over there. Need a bakery. Monk, move Astarte. Move. Out of the way. We need to build. Bakery and the butcher shop. We'll transfer those over to Equites as soon as we can, but for now we're going to go with um, the plebs building it. Uh, we'll also need a brickworks. I'm going to put that over here as well after we've got a slave market. Actually, we might be able to build a slave market over here already because of the aqueduct. 
but we can build it there. That'll do. It's swell. Okay. And we will need an extra pleb to run that butcher shop. That should make people fairly happy. Yep, 50% food satisfaction, all is good. We'll build the farm as well. Oh, we can't because we haven't got bricks. Derp. I'm a fool. Alright, well, in that case, we should get two brickworks. Can we get a lumber camp over here as well? We can. It should be able to be serviced by the, um, the slaves. Build a stone quarry there. We'll get to work on food production. Needs plebs to work that. Okay. We'll have to worry about that a bit later then. Hmm. We might just build a second row of insular over this way. Yes, actually, I think we will do that. Hmm. Yes, build an insular there, and then they can run the great farm, which can sit over here. And we can't get equites yet because we need a farm. Lucky for us, we can produce one straight away because of our um, talent. So, where do we want to put that? I think over this way. Highlighted objects block construction. Alright, well, what about that? Yes. Yes, that looks nice to me. And apologies if I sound a little uh, under the weather. I still am a bit under the weather, so um, bear with me. It's winter over here, unfortunately, and that means that people get sick. Which makes me sad, because now I am sick. <laughs> Alright, so two Equites. They can run the Butcher and Baker means we can get a temple and a school. So put the school there. And we'll put the temple over... Yeah, actually that works for now. It'll, it's not perfect, but it'll work for now. And we can put a third Equite house here, hopefully. So Equite and Equite. I mean, these two don't have a place to work, but they will in a moment. And if I'm correct, we can fit a third one. I am, and we can. Cool. And then we can place the uh, inn, is it? Or the tavern? The tavern. We can place the tavern. Um, will it fit in there nicely? It will fit in there nicely. Done deal. And then what about, oops, the, hey, did I build a tavern or an inn? Built an inn. Derp, getting everything mixed up. Okay, and then we can build a tavern there. But where will we put the equite? Oh yeah, the equite can just go over this side. There we go. Now everyone can run everything, and now we can start focusing on getting everything done. So we'll get a prefecture, because we'll want one. And then we can get Temple of Mars. We'll also want this, this, and this. So let's have a look at our surpluses. Fairly good, we've got some marble already, which is nice. Food, doing okay. Got lots of wine, which is good. And everything else is pretty damn fine. Cool. And these guys are already level 4, just because we've got time teachers. Nice. Okay, we will build that prefecture. First, we're going to build a fountain. Just here, to provide hygiene for everybody. And then, we'll build a prefecture. Where will it fit that's nice? Seems good to me. Prefecture there. Place our has to run that there, and we should have 100% employment. We do! Excellent! Bankruptcy warning, yeah, that's fine. We'll get more money as we finish up technologies. And we should be getting a little bit from here. 
Yep, we are. And research of open cast mining has been completed. We'll want archives, then we'll get hammered coinage. And then we'll go back and we'll get the Temple of Mars. Okay. So the goal, obviously, is to get to 1500 denarii. We also need to get plus 50 wine. We're already getting some of that wine. And we should get a bit of a bonus because of being next to an aqueduct. That'll be good. And we've got City of Nobles. Tax generates double proceeds. Cool. Sounds good to me. So, let's have a look. We'll need to create the Temple of Mars next. So what's the radius on this? Pretty good, okay. Well, in that case, we'll tuck uh, Equite House in here. And then we'll build another road along there like so. And I think what we'll do is we'll put the Temple of Mars, once we unlock it, should fit in okay here. Hopefully it'll cover everything. If I'm correct, it will. Research milestone reached. Cool. Hammered coinage is the next thing up. So let's have a look at the barbarians. What have we got? What are we facing off against? Six squads. And six squads. Okay, we can handle that. We can handle that. We need the trade as well. Hammered coinage has been completed. Do we have a source of iron around anywhere? Near us. We do. We've got iron and marble. Okay, well that's good. We'll probably expand our city out this way then. That is the logical approach. And then we'll be able to get some iron, so we'll be able to train some troops, and then we'll be able to send them over to take out these villages. Army on the move. I guess they don't like us. Or they're fighting each other. I don't know. That could be troublesome. That could be very troublesome. Are they fighting each other, or are they fighting us? Gold Berserkers. And Gold Berserkers. They might be fighting each other. If they are, that's awesome, because it means we won't have to worry about them attacking us. If they're not, that could be a bit troublesome. Okay, well, can we get the Temple of Mars yet? We can. I'll just flip him around like so. Hmm. Oh yeah, I already built the Equite House in preparation. Dirt. I'm not having a good day. <laughs> Forgetting what I've been doing. Alright, so we'll build that out there. And we can probably research more now, can't we? Yes. So we'll research the tax office. That seems like a good one to research. For now, and we'll research these. Because we're going to need those minerals. Now what's happening? They're sort of just camping there. That's odd. And a little unwelcome. Alright, well, Pastati, go and capture this milestone. Because that way we can start producing um, more funds through trade. And that'll be perfect. We'll build you there. You won't have employment for a minute, but that'll be okay. What do you mean, state ended of efficiency? You don't have a workplace. Well, who's. Oh, right. Because the temple's not built yet. That's why. So where is that in relation to... Okay, it's a fair distance. We should be okay. So are we fighting six squads from this lot of three? I think it's six. They're hanging out with the military camp. Okay. We can deal with that. You obviously don't have to if you don't want to because this is, after all, a primarily economic mission. But I think we might go on an expedition to raid. 
So build you there. And we give them a job. They're all happy, happy. And we can probably place another uh, wine place, I think. Hmm. Is there anything that we actually need at the moment? An odium could be good. Just for the entertainment bonus. I think I will place an odium. But where to put it? Where to put it? Actually, no, there is good, because then we can start forming up another sort of uh, little hub to go with what we've already got. So we'll build you. You can man that odium. You can get coverage from this lot. Not really. That's okay. That's why we have slaves to produce us the uh, meat we require. So can we place a wheat farm? Can we place a wheat farm there? We can, and then we should be able to place the pig farm next to it. Farm must be placed close to a fertile field. Oh, well that will do nicely. And we'll have a job there. And that means we can build a couple more of you. So build one. Two more. Along here like that. And then we'll place a flower a water mill. We'll need a water mill. So we'll place a peninsula first. High entertainment. Jolly good. Alright, we'll need the water mill. here. Now we can place the bakery over there. We'll extend the road a little bit, like so. And then we can build the butcher shop to go there. That'll cover them nicely. They're all set. Two more of them. Cool. Because of low entertainment, they will not be happy, but that's alright, we can give them some entertainment. Place another equite there. And we'll place a tavern. There. And then we'll place the inn. we can get one more equity house and put a temple, I believe. We don't have enough resources. Oh, right, because they're using them to build that. No, we still don't have enough resources. Ooh. That's troubling. Oh, because it's stone, not marble. I thought we were out of stone. There we go. Uh, I thought we were out of marble, not stone. That makes more sense. And then the temple can go... I'll just rotate the view a little bit. Temple can go... There. As well. And then could we potentially fit a Temple of Saturn in there? No. Maybe if it was a Temple of Jupiter we could have, but not a Temple of Saturn. You'll be bankrupt soon, that's okay. We can survive. Now we'll place that other temple there. There's an insulae here, and that should leave room for a fountain. If we're lucky. Even if it's just a small one. Sweet. Alright, and now we can sell things. So what have we got that we're not actually using? We've got clothes, we're not using those, but we can only sell 30 of them, that's not useful. So what else aren't we using? Goods, we need more of them. Hmm, we haven't really got anything that we're not using at the moment that we can sell. That's okay. Uh, we could always use a bit of iron, so how much money are we currently making? We're making 620 a minute, so let's get 10 iron from Palmer. 
and we'll be bankrupt soon, but that's okay, because we've got our secret weapon of research. So let's get the nice easy technologies that don't really require all that much, and we'll get... Mm, we don't really need those. We'll get the library, though. Cool. So we've used all the fields here. If we need to get more food or anything like that, we'll have to go somewhere else. That's okay. We can handle that. And we've got 100% employment. Everyone's happy. Entertainment suffers a little bit. That's okay. I'm pretty sure we've still got high entertainment. Oh no, we lost it. We're popular, and we've got abundance though, so that's good. And we can form a tax office, which I plan to do in a moment. So we'll place another... Hmm. Might place the Equite House over here. Will fit in there? No. Hmm. Now we'll place it over here. Because then we can place the tax office. Becomes a monument? I don't think so. Is it public? Yes, it is public. We require more money and we also need more uh, wood. So we'll upgrade this. It's only 125. That equity is not really going to have anything to do for a little bit. I guess they are, because I forgot to build a prefecture, so let's build a prefecture there. Cool. Alrighty. And then we should be able to build a road along this way. Like that. And then if we want to, we can place some um, plebs in Chile along here, so we can take advantage of this. In fact, I think we will, because then we can sell some of that wine, because I don't think it comes off our production if we're producing it. I think we just have to be producing it to satisfy the, uh, the, the um, conditions of victory. So if I place you there, and then I place the second one, not enough resources. Oh, we'll have enough resources in a minute. Finish. There we go. If I place you there, you guys should be able to run this and put our uh, wine production up, and then we should be able to simply sell some of it. I'm hoping, so I'll build a third insula, just there, because that will get us more tax income as well. And then I will place another trade post. Once we've got the wood. Come on. Alright. So let's sell some of that wine if we can. We've got iron coming in as well, so I'll probably set up a military district soon enough to... There we go. So we've got some wine coming in. Everybody's fairly happy. Food satisfaction is good. Religious satisfaction is fairly good. Employment will be fixed up in a moment after this is complete. Probably have to do the uh, shuffle just to get everybody fixed up. And could we fit another... No. Alright, that's okay. We'll probably place the tax office and such over this side then, so that they can take advantage of this cluster of homes. And shuffle. And everybody was then employed. Okay. So, people wanted wine, I believe. Can we sell it? Oh, we can't sell it? Really? Oh. I thought I had a cunning plan, but apparently not. Okay, well, we've almost got all the wine that we need then. Hmm, well what could we sell? I guess we could sell goods. 
once we had enough of it, we could sell some marble. But Alexandria would want all of it. What about flour? Okay, let's have a look at luxury stuff that we could sell then. Linen we could sell. Clothes we could sell. Goods and slaves. Hmm. 